College of Charleston. It's been a blast. Like, I've had so much fun this summer. It, it's incredible. <laughs> I've never been this excited in my life to do something like this. I'm an inorganic chemist by training, and one of the things that we try to do is develop synthetic methods, new synthetic methods, or revising synthetic methods for making various new compounds. We have two different methods we're using. One method is very green. We do it in water, add peroxide. And the other method is in methylene chloride which is not very green at all, toxic to the environment and all this stuff. But that one has a higher yield, so we're comparing and trying to perfect the water method in comparison to the methylene chloride method, because it's much better. As a synthetic chemist, we want to develop new things, but also look at what's out there and figure out how can we make it better, how can we make it more efficient, how can we do it cheaper, how can we do it cleaner. One of the, you know, the, the things that drives scientists in general is you know, coming up with new ideas and expanding on ideas that are already out there because science is not static. Science is constantly evolving. Working this summer made me think of, well, I kind of just want to be a professor. So working, doing this summer research and all this stuff has uh, inspired me to help others and give them the same experience I'm experiencing this summer. This is where it really starts. This is where you really foster you know, the ideas of people wanting to get into science. So it's exciting you know, to be able to come in and help someone grow as a scientist. 